from Las Vegas. This is the Betting First Look Preakness Stakes Edition. We're going to preview the contenders for this year's Preakness. And let's get things started with the number one contender, the favorite, number seven, Justify. Well, going into the Kentucky Derby, I told you Justify was the most likely horse to win, but there were a lot of questions that needed to be answered. And at the shorter price, in so many questions, I didn't pick him to win the Derby. I tried to beat him, but I did include him on my tickets because I didn't want to have him run me over. And our horse finished second, Good Magic, in the Derby to Justify. Well, guys, Justify answered all of those questions. The big questions were, how would he be able to handle a surface other than Santa Anita, as all three of his races were at Santa Anita? No problem. He handled that fine. How would he handle a large field? No problem. 20-horse field. Never had had a large field prior to that. In fact, his three previous races, if you add up all of the horses he faced, it didn't total 20 horses. Could he break the curse of Apollo? Well, we talked about that. Nobody had won a Kentucky Derby without racing at two since Apollo, and we were going all the way back into the 18, it was 1882 or 1892. And how would, <clears throat> we had one more surprise thrown in the mix that we didn't know was going to happen, and that was the weather uh, Saturday at the Kentucky Derby two weeks ago. It rained. The track was muddy. How was he going to be able to handle that, especially with a large field if he wasn't on front and getting some mud thrown back at him? Well, he was near the front, just right off the leader, so he didn't have to deal with mud in his face, but he handled the track well. The mud was no problem. So now moving forward to the Preakness on Saturday, he is the odds-on favorite, and he does deserve it. Does that mean there's no value in <clears throat> the Preakness? No, it does not. Uh, last several years, there's been a long shot run in on the ticket and made the payout big. And we'll be looking for that. Does Justify win this race? Yeah, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. Unless something definitely unforeseen happens um, with the horse uh, during the race, uh, I don't see Justify getting beat on Saturday. But if you want to check out more in-depth about all of the horses, check out the video we did over at wagertalk.com. We went into detail on the uh, Preakness. We also had a podcast last night where we had a guest um, handicapper on talking about the Preakness. And then, of course, guys, you can check out my actual plays. I have a Preakness package up. You'll get all of my plays uh, for the Preakness on Saturday, exactly how I'm attacking this race with my wagers. Uh, so you'll be betting exactly how I am betting. Plus, you'll get my top sports pick on Saturday. Guys, Kentucky Derby weekend, our sports picks Friday, Saturday, and Sunday went 4-0. and We're on an amazing run right now. We're 7-1 and the last seven days with our picks. You'll get everything Saturday, $39, or you can pick up a seven-day package, an even better offer, seven days, normally $99. If you use coupon code JUSTIFY30, JUSTIFY30 at checkout, you can get a seven-day package from me for just $69. Guys, you'll pay 39 bucks for one day or $69 with that coupon for seven days. Check it out, wagertalk.com. All right, thanks for tuning in. I'll have more previews of other contenders for the Preakness.